Now, in the real world, it's quite rare that you would work with this event emitter object directly. Instead, you want to create a class that has all the capabilities of the event emitter, and then you will use that class in your code. Let me explain what I mean by that and why. So let's open up our logger module. So in this module, we're exporting a simple function log, right? And here we log that message on the console. Now, after this, we want to raise an event. And then later in app module, we will listen for that event and do something. So let's go back to our app module and copy some code into the logger module. So on the top, I'm going to copy these two lines to bring the event emitter in this module. Okay. Now back in app module, I'm also going to move these two lines for raising an event into the logger module because this code should not be here. It's the logger module that emits or signals an event saying the message is logged. So cut. So here, after we log the message, we raise an event like this. Okay. Now back in app module, we don't need this comment. Here we need to load the logger module and call the log function. So constant log, we call the required function and set the path to the logger module. And here we simply call the log function with a message. Okay. Now, when we run this application, we are only going to see this message on the console. In other words, this event listener will not be called. Let's verify that. And then I will explain why that happens. So back in terminal, node app.js. Look, we only got the message on the console. So our event listener was not called. The reason for this is because here we're working with two different event emitters. In app.js, we have this event emitter object. And in logger module, we have another event emitter object. So earlier, I told you that a class is like a blueprint and an object is an actual instance. As a metaphor, I said we could have a class called human or person, but the objects could be Jack, John, Mary, Bob, whatever. So in this case, we have two different objects. In the logger module, we're using this emitter object to emit an event, whereas in app module, we're using another event emitter object to handle that event. These are completely different. So when we register a listener here, that listener is only registered with this event emitter, which is completely different from the other event emitter. So that's why I told you in your applications, it's very rare that you would want to work with this event emitter directly. Instead, you want to create a class that has all the capabilities of this event emitter, but it has additional capabilities. In this case, we want to create a class called logger that has this additional method log. Okay, so the first thing we want to do here is to define a class. In ES6, we have this keyword class, which is a syntactical sugar for creating a constructor function. With this, we can define a class, logger. Note that the first letter of every word in a class should be uppercase. This is the Pascal case convention that we use for naming classes. So class logger, we have a code block. Now, we need to move this log function inside this logger class. So cut, paste it here. Now we have an error because when we define a function inside a class, we don't need this function keyword. And from now on, we refer to this function as a method. So when a function is inside a class, we say that's a method in that class. Okay. So here we have this logger class. Now at the end, Instead of exporting the log function, we're going to export the logger class. Okay. Now we want this logger class to have all the capabilities of this event emitter. The way we do that is by using the extends keyword that comes in ES6. So extends. And here we add the name of the parent or the base class. So event emitter. And with this simple change, this logger class will have all the functionality that is defined 
in event emitter. So here, when raising this event, instead of using this emitter object, we're going to use this. So in this class, we can directly emit or raise events. Okay. And now we no longer need this actual emitter object because we have not used it anywhere in this code. So delete. We're done with the logger module. Now back in the app module. So here when requiring the logger module, we get a class. So I'm going to rename this to logger with capital L. That's a class. Now we create an object. So new logger. And then to log a message, we call logger.log. Now, similar to the change that we made in the logger module, we no longer need this event emitter object here. We want to work directly with this logger object. So we're going to register this listener on this logger object. Okay. So I'm going to move this code after creating the logger. We say, hey, logger, when you raise this message logged event, I want to execute this code. Okay. And finally, you can see we no longer need this event emitter object. It's not used anywhere. Delete. Now, when we run this application, we're going to see this message on the console, but also because we're using the same logger object for registering an event listener and also raising an event, we're going to see this message on the console. So node app.js, look, this is the message on the console and you can see our listener was successfully called. So let's quickly recap. If you want to raise events in your application to signal that something has happened, you need to create a class that extends event emitter. With this, that class will have all the functionality defined in event emitter, but you can also add additional functionality in this case, we have the ability to log a message. And then inside that class, whenever you want to raise an event, you use this that I made, because this references this logger class itself, which extends event emitter. So all the methods defined in event emitter will also be part of this class. Okay. And finally, in app module, again, instead of using an instance of event emitter, you will use an instance of the custom class that you have defined that extends event emitter. Hi guys, it's Mosh here. Thank you for watching my Node tutorial. I just wanted to let you know that this video you've been watching is part of my complete Node course where you will learn everything about Node from the basic to the advanced topics. If you're serious about learning Node, I highly recommend you to enroll in my Node course because this is much faster than jumping from one tutorial to another. It saves you time. Plus, you're going to get a lot of exercises that will prepare you for the real work. And also at the end of the course, you'll receive a certificate of completion that you can provide to your current or future employer. So if you want to enroll, click on the link in the video description. I hope to see you in the course.